After Avatar 225 have recently been shifted back quite a bit, you might get the impression that the production will also be put on hold for the time being. That this is definitely not the case is regularly proven to us by producer John Landau with brand new pictures from the set. This time we are allowed to see concept pictures of a new type of underwater vehicle called the Crab Suit. It is equipped with four legs and two arms and is supposed to be one of many futuristic underwater vehicles of the RDA for the recovery of the valuable raw material Unobtainium. The whole thing is also in line with James Cameron's ideas which always look spectacular but never lack the connection to reality. Avatar 2 will mostly be set underwater and will bring Sam Worthington, Zoe Zeldana, Van Diesel, Kate Winslet and many more to the screen. The release date of Avatar 2 is expected on 16th of December 2022. After several postponements, what we had feared is now beginning to happen. The Disney blockbuster Mulan will not be released in cinemas in many countries. According to reports of The Hollywood Reporter, the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and some European countries are mainly affected. Currently, the release date of the live-action movie is September 4, 2020 on the streaming service Disney+. But those who have a subscription will not be satisfied with free entertainment. According to Variety, the film will cost $29.99 US dollars and will be released as premium video on demand. According to Disney boss Bob Chapek, this model is not supposed to be a forerunner for further releases, but only a one-time thing. Nevertheless, Disney will look very closely at demand and calculate whether the offer will be taken up more often than expected. If this model works, it is quite likely that other major film studios will follow. The consequences would be devastating, because the cinema as we know it would then probably not exist for much longer. What do you think? Would you pay $29.99 to watch your long-awaited films from home or are you not participating in the whole thing to support the cinema of your choice? Write it down in the comments. That Galadriel appears in the new Lord of the Rings series from Amazon and is portrayed by Moffat Clark has now been known for quite some time. However, as it has now become known, this is not the only character from the film trilogy who will have an appearance in the series. The One Ring.net reports that Elrond and Sauron will also be in the series. Whoever has seen the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit movies will of course know who are meant. Elrond is the Lord of Rivendell and an indirect assistant of the Dwarves or the Companions. Sauron, on the other hand, is the antagonist of the free people of Middle-earth and owner of the ring which is to be destroyed in the trilogy. However, from Bilbo, Frodo and Gandalf and Co. we will not hear much because the series is not set in the third but in the second age of Middle-earth. This also means in reverse that Elrond and Sauron will probably not be the same characters as in the movies. Thus, there are still growing indications that the Amazon series deals with the time before the forging of the Rings of Power. In the books, Sauron tries to gain favor with elves, dwarves and humans under a false name, while Elrond is the leader of the elves under Gil-galad. A concrete cast for the two characters have not yet been decided. Over the course of next year, you can look forward to release of the series exclusively on Amazon. At least since The Witcher and Castlevania, it has been clear that Netflix has a certain talent for the usually skeptically viewed video game adaptions. Through two tweets, Netflix now announced that both Beyond Good and Evil and Splinter Cell will get their own adaption on the streaming service. While Beyond Good and Evil will be a film in collaboration with Ubisoft, Sam Fisher will return to the screen in the form of an animated series. According to Variety, John Wick author Derek Kolstad will be the executive producer for the series, which will consist of two seasons and 16 episodes. For Beyond Good and Evil, fans can look forward to Detective Pikachu director Rob Letterman. However, the search for a screenwriter is probably still ongoing. A release date for both projects is unfortunately not yet fixed. Since the Snyder Cut for Justice League, which had been demanded by fans for years, was finally announced, the expectations of the fans after the failed cinema version are of course quite high. Also, Ryan Reynolds seems to wish for a compensation for his DC flop Green Lantern, because a few days ago he released a fake trailer in Snyder Cut style in typical Reynolds humor. He calls his fake trailer for a Green Lantern Cut the Reynolds Cut, and it's a good one because even a not quite real Tom Cruise has an appearance as a DC superhero. He also announced on Twitter that he will not play Hawkman on Black Adam, even though he does everything else The Rock says and that he would love to appear in the Snyder Cut. As you can see, the Green Lantern actor is back on the road in typical Reynolds manner, even if this funny trailer can't hide the disappointing future of Deadpool. Because while the Snyder Cut will be released already next year, it'll probably take at least another 5 years until the release of Deadpool 3, if you believe a statement of Deadpool creator Rob Liefeld from a few months ago.